Okay. Now, I presume you want to have a chat about politics, is that right? I'm just just Let me assure you, there's um, no question uh, that's, uh, that you should feel afraid to ask. In 2010, you took the decision to delay implementing an emission trading scheme. In the light of the current acrimonious debate over a carbon price, do you regret making that decision? You had some folk who wanted to get rid of it altogether. Uh, that is, kill the ETS as a future proposition for the country. I couldn't abide that. Did you or did you not tell Kevin Rudd to kill the ETS for good? I don't think it's a secret to all assembled here that there were a diversity of views within the Labor Party at the time. <laughs> and, uh, and, and within the Cabinet? Uh, yeah, that wouldn't be stretching the truth too far. <laughs> I understand that uh, people will ask questions about that time. Um, yep. You've got the foreign minister uh, spilling the beans on cabinet discussions. Um, yep. I do not believe that it's uh, proper to discuss confidential discussions between cabinet colleagues. I think it's perfectly appropriate for a former prime minister in a, in a forum like uh, Q&A uh, to answer the questions as he did. The same people that wanted to junk it are the same people that want to bring a carbon tax in there? <laughs> when things got hard, did you decide that you should cut and run from that? Look, I'll, I'll, I'll leave the history to you. Uh, my focus is on making sure that we price carbon. You make mistakes in public life, that was a big one. I think it uh, takes some courage to acknowledge mistakes. The mistake Kevin Rudd made was trusting Julia Gillard. Guess what? Political leaders are not perfect. Does Kevin Rudd want your job? <laughs> is Kevin stalking Julia? You know, where does... Um, is Malcolm Bill... stalking Tony? Yeah, well... Right. <laughs> it appears that the Foreign Minister is uh, deeply at odds with other members of the Cabinet. I could stick around a little on with you. Well, if you want to sort of uh, <laughs> pull back and go into the entrails, it may not be a pretty story. But, uh... but go on. <laughs> I'm uh, not going to uh, be drawn into uh, uh, events of the past. Well, look, uh, I'm not going to go back over the past. I'm not going to go back over, over past history. Don't expect me to go through the entrails of ancient history uh, in terms of uh, government decision making. Look, I'm not going to go down to name names about who had what position where. I would have held cabinet meetings in public. Uh, so yes. uh, I. Uh, that would have been good for the entertainment industry, I can tell you. Uh... Plainly, this is a cabinet of people who don't trust each other. Do you trust the Foreign Minister? Well, of course, Kevin is part of my team. Why after this week? Oh, well, Chris, I'll leave the political commentary and hyperbole to you. And I think it's time for the Prime Minister to restore a bit of discipline. Privately, some Labor MPs agree. One told the ABC Kevin Rudd's addicted to attention and up to no good. Another put it down to a brain explosion. You see, when it comes to the period of the government which I led, um, I will always uh, act as appropriate to set correctly the record. Thank you very much. Hey!